Darwin, a dynamic anthropomorphic robot with intelligence. Developed at the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab, Romella, at Virginia Tech, Darwin uses a robotic system developed using technology from national instruments. The robotic system developed is adaptable and expandable, so the same system is used for many other research platforms in Romella. An initial design study was performed on Darwin Zero to see how LabVIEW would interface with the servo motors of the robot. LabVIEW is controlling the robot shown over a serial RS-485 network. With great ease, LabVIEW can make the robot stand up and even walk. However, this robot does not use any sensors or feedback. The result? <laughs> to create a stable walking robot, LabVIEW was used to aid in generating motion. From kinematic and physical models of Darwin 1, which was Darwin Zero's successor, and new LabVIEW front panels to make full use of the robot's abilities, Gates generated and other math packages like Mathematica were imported to LabVIEW and simulated using 3D picture control. Simulating motion in Gates in LabVIEW was much more efficient than setting up and testing Gates on the actual robot hardware. The result was accelerated development and research of gate generation, which quickly led to a stable gate. Combining the tools LabVIEW created and a rate gyro in Darwin's chest for balance, LabVIEW now controls Darwin to get up and then walk without falling down. The next stage in development was adding intelligence to Darwin. Darwin 2 has the same features as its predecessors and more, including IEEE 1394 cameras, an onboard PC-104 computer running LabVIEW real-time, custom machine parts, and powered by lithium polymer batteries. The cameras are mounted on a pan-tilt unit so the robot is able to track objects. Using LabVIEW software, the robot identifies and then locates the relative position of an object, in this case a ball. This software was made by just one student with no prior experience to any vision processing in just two hours using LabVIEW Vision. In just one week, one student developed behavior control that allowed Darwin to play soccer and qualify as the only U.S. humanoid robot for the International Autonomous Robot Soccer Competition, RoboCup. Other teams spent years with many students writing in C code to accomplish the same task. This video was presented by Romella, the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab at Virginia Tech.